All right, let's see here. Good morning, evening, afternoon. This is Gamer Tia. We are back today with some. Let's see here. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Ah, there we go. Um, back with some Farm Sim 22 FS22. Uh, we are helping a buddy of ours get some grapes harvested today. So it's going to be a slow and steady day. Not much doing. Literally, we're just going to run up and down these, uh, 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 grape, up and down the grape vineyard, basically. So this, uh, grape harvester, you just basically straddle and use that top pointer up there to get your sight picture good. <laughs> Anybody that knows how to shoot is knowing what I'm talking about right now. But yeah, I get your sight picture good and, and go for it. But, um, yeah, we're, st we're using, uh, the GPS mod, so don't think I'm an excellent driver. It's just we have things lined up and ready to go. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're doing today. The uh, graphics lag a little bit for grape harvesting, so sometimes it shows that it harvested and sometimes it doesn't. And then you wait two minutes and it's fixed all up. Hi, El! Good to see ya. I figured I was doing this for the next like six hours, so <laughs> I figured I would, uh, I'd holler and say hi to you guys. It's a nice quiet day today. On my third cup of coffee doing this fun stuff. I, uh, like I said, helping him harvest here, but this morning I helped him, uh, I cultivated and then seeded and then, uh, rolled these down here. So he's got some nice wheat growing down here now. Hi, Kevin. Doing pretty good. This is, this is my land over here. It's all grass, of course, and some sheep scissors. Couple spinneries and a tailor shop, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'm slowly seceding the uh, the land that I got up here to this fella here. Um, so it's gonna be like another two two weeks until I can sell this to him. More snow there? No. Thankfully, no more snow here. It's back up to being warm again. Yeah, I figured I'd hang out with you guys this afternoon a little bit. I've actually been up and farming since like 7.30 this morning. In-game farming, not real farming, guys. Uh, yeah. Not much doing. This guy did a really good job of lining up his fields, though. Poor Billy. Billy and me came into it, uh... Not knowing what we were doing. <laughs> so some of his builds are actually really hard to mess with because of the fact that they're just up and down hill stuff and on the sideways slope and all kinds of crazy. 52%. Usually we wait till 100, but these are at 51 and 52% per row. Uh, so I don't feel like um, missing the last little bit of the row and then having to run back. So I've been doing this. I have one of these guys at each of the ends of the field that way. I don't have to run all the way to the other side of the field to drop off the stuff. Turn your wheels. <laughs> yep, yep, Kevin having a nice peaceful day today. It's quiet. I don't mind it at all. See the grapes are gone on this row and then not on this one. So I think here we start only doing like 49% per row. So we might be actually be able to do two sweeps before we have to uh, activate it. Oh God, it's on. She's going. 
Yeah, like I said, it's still a nice lazy day today. Can't wait till it gets back up to 80. And then, I don't know, I still haven't put a hammock up in the backyard. I like to just have a nice cool breeze and swing in the hammock and take a nap. It's good times. <laughs> Ah, don't know how long I'll be on today. Like I said, this is literally all I'm doing for the next, like, three, three or four hours. <laughs> Wicked's up here doing, uh, oops, not weathered stones. Nice, he got all the stones out of there. Good job. I have no stones either. The infrastructure down? Four... gonna be going down pretty slowly. The grapes are pretty nifty. I'm I'm glad I don't own any grapes though, I'll tell you that much. Uh, the only reason I don't like grapes is because you literally have to plow in between the fields twice. Like half right close to one side and then half right close to the other side on the little fence thingies on each row. So literally you have to do an east and west on each tiny row. It's so, such a pain. Hi Celtic! If they had a plow that would fit through there, which they almost do, but it has two little like warning signs on the back which actually blocks it from going down the aisle. Which is hilarious to me. Um, 50%. Let's go ahead and dump these though, since we're right here anyway. <laughs> Celtic, how are you like in uh, FS22? Yeah, all of it done by hand. Well, lots of lots of people in the field. Mm, realistically speaking, this whole area right here was as about as big as the strawberry fields uh, we used to go help pick. All right, where's the grapes? Oh, look at us. Why are we getting fancy here? Uh-oh, slow down. Turn that on. And then you may proceed. Boop. There we go. Beautiful. It's different. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think I would, I didn't really think I would like it that much, but man, I really did. I've got a, this, an insane amount of hours in it. I think over 900 now. Hi, Gigi. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're just chilling out today. We're not actually doing anything important. Um, I'm helping somebody harvest their grapes today and felt like chatting, so decided to hop over here and be social for a minute. <laughs> Have fun with cave man. <laughs> Despite the snow, like yesterday, I'm already thinking about our zoo trip for this summer. Be like, everybody, wear your masks. Let's go. It's the most exercise every single person in my family gets it every single year. <laughs> Is Saturday you... Oh, no. 
uh, Celtic, I was just feeling um, feeling social today, so I decided to hop on, talk to you guys. Like I said, we're not doing anything important, and my hands are off the keyboard because this is all uh, GPS ran, so. Yeah. Oh, if you were wondering why I wasn't actually in the chat on Deuce's Discord the other day, I was like, I felt like listening for a little while, um, but I didn't feel like talking. That That's actually 90% of my life, I don't feel like talking. <laughs> Despite the fact that I'm a streamer. I'll explain that to me. No, I'm usually socialed out by the time I get done streaming. <laughs> Quite a few grapes. Grapes are not my thing, but this guy set up his grapes really, really well and they're really easy to do. <laughs> He's got his grapes here on 32. He did a good job. Uh, this other fellow down here, Greenman, he um, he's doing olives right here? They're still there. Let me look. Eh. Yeah. Oh, those are... Wait, are those grapes? No, they're olives. They're right. Right there. Purp dark, deep purple. He's doing that as, his, as he gets money. He's adding more in there. But he has an oil factory, so he's doing olives and sunflowers and... Oops. Ahem. I'm a professional, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I just got done with my one ring... RPG game? Oh! As in, like, token? Tolkien? Can't pronounce anything, it's totally fine. This one's 50% done. Let's see. Okay. Yep, there we go. Alright, we're on the right row. Hmm. Yeah, I've been looking at different games to play. I just uh, haven't had much time in it. Cough. <laughs> right. Totally, totally professional. Five years after the books. Nice, nice. Yeah, all of the... Man, I don't even know if I would do it anymore, but there used to be D&D &D games around town that you could go join. And, uh... Yeah, I think it was like my second deployment I stopped doing that. Because mostly it was just... People. <laughs> I was done. Uh, but, yeah, I used to really enjoy that. I even drug my sisters along who weren't D&D &D nerds like me. <laughs> GPS simple version is pretty nice. I like it. Okay, I have all the keys memorized now that I played with it for about two weeks, though. It was much, much better. I still don't understand why you have to plow grapes after you harvest them. Because you shouldn't have to... I mean, plow has to do with the roots. I don't, I don't understand that. Drives me a little wonky. I don't believe you, grapes. You don't need to be. Yeah, cause look. Doom doom. Filters. Plowing. Look at that red. Everywhere it's red. Seventy-eight. 
sorry, 98, 99, and 100. I'll have to go back. Ooh. Emergency brakes. Action over with forty four. Eh. Forty four. My brain is having trouble computing things today, guys. So please don't take offense if I am unable to compute. But yeah, I will be, uh, I will be playing some No Man's Land later today. Probably not streaming it, but I don't know for sure. 12%. Go ahead and dump that back in there. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Alright, I... Are we halfway done? No, we're not even halfway done. I don't even know how far we're done. <laughs> we're only like, eh. Well, a third of the way done, at least. Your brain is like that all the time. <laughs> uh, I've had two cups of coffee, so it's not the coffee. And I actually slept, like, super hard. Which is great. I did wake up at four, but I was actually able to go back to sleep, which is which is always a blessing. But yeah, I uh, my brain's like I don't understand words today; they're too hard. Hmm. Yeah, just chilling out, having my my coffee. It's afternoon. I probably should have switched to decaf, but I did not. So I'm at least gonna finish this cup, and then. Uh, might switch to tea this afternoon, I think. I got some... Is it matcha or ma... ma I think it's matcha tea. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't shown YouTube any live stream love in a little while, so figured I'd come over here and chit chat with you guys. Oh, what's that? Oh, the grapes are falling in there. Pretty spiffy. The grass is kicking out right there. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Said sometimes it cleans it up really fast, and sometimes it just uh, does not. Deuce was talking about that so times sixteen map, and I've been playing on the times four over on Shellbrook, uh, helping out plowing and stuff like that. And uh, I did three fields yesterday, and it took me like six or seven hours. craziness. And that's only times four map, so times 16, I'm like, oh my goodness. We're gonna be there for decades. Try not to overextend myself. That's one of the reasons I'm selling some of this land to this fellow up here. Like, we sold this yesterday, finally, that changed hands yesterday. But I sold it, like, Thursday. Uh, and then, finally, everything settled yesterday, so he's got 10, 8, 9, and 10 now with my little side fields here. Um, and then, like I said, in two weeks, on like r around the first, I should be able to sell this to him. So then all I'll have is my home plot. Yeah, I want to get all that settled in. I'm reducing my land footprint on here just so I can have more time to do other stuff, like play the lo No Man's Land and 
and do some other stuff and contract like I've been doing today and yesterday. Eh. Eh. Let me, let me in. There we go. <laughs> I want to I want to see something. Okay, that's why. So some of this did not get um did not get what's it called? Uh looks like fertilization didn't happen there. And only half fertilization happened here. And it, it needs all and all of it needs plowing. All right, I was wondering why we weren't getting a really big yield cuz I was doing Billy's field and they're like a quarter of this size. Like from Billy's fields are from the back of my vehicle over to that other um, tractor with the two trailers. He has three fields about that size, and I have to do tr three trailer loads of stuff. Oh, thank you, Dan. Oh, okay, maybe I've been sitting here too long. <laughs> it, it hurts to stand up. <laughs> Oh, thank you, good sir. Oh man, I mean, I've been here since seven, and it's almost one. So I've been sitting here a little while. Besides getting up for coffee. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Get some water. Yeah, there's a little teeny tiny plow for this one. It's the a yellow one. Let's see here. P for purchase. Oh, Rockstar. I actually need one of these. <laughs> uh, man, that one's on sale. T no, Tia. Tia, no. Except maybe this. I'm going to buy this. This is mine now. Okay, I got distracted. We were talking about plows, yeah? Uh, we'll go to the easy part, which is this little open box for packs. Grapes. This ye little yellow guy. It says subsoil prepares fields for next sowing. It actually works instead of as, it works as a plow, but it is teeny tiny. It is 1.5 meters across, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Dan. If I didn't say that already, I did get up and stretch for you. D drink some more water. I should probably need more water right now. <laughs> yeah, with grapes and stuff like that, it's really nice to hit the things. Yeah, I'll I'll go pick that up. Uh, after I get done with this. 96%, 97. Yeah, if, uh, if grapes had a three meter wide one that we could roll down through, because the th other three meter wide plow, like I said, has the two uh, warning signs on the back and it makes it actually four meters wide instead of three for width versus and three working width. Uh, but yeah, it gets stuck and it doesn't work. Because I try to do, um, plows. Do, 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 do. Subsoilers. Come here. There we go. This guy. See, he's three meters wide, and I'm like, yes, this is what we need, exactly three meters wide. And it is perfectly three meters wide from here to here. But because of these two fat heads right here, <laughs> uh, it blocks, this blocks the, uh, the sticks on the grapes, which really suck. 
because we could have just done one pass instead of having to do two little ones. Like you can see the green on the ground versus the um, the plowed area. It's a bit of a pain. I'm hoping like the next DLC, the the DLC that's coming out um, for the season pass or whatever you whatever you guys have is actually uh, for this type of harvesting. So I'm hoping they have something in there that allows us to plow one stripe instead of having to go back and double double plow. But we'll see. I've actually been keeping my eye out for mod stuff too because if we can get a modder to do it where you only have one swipe through that would be swell. Alright. The funny thing is I'll have to add that rock picker to my FSN equipment list. <laughs> like, Tia, why? <laughs> yeah, if you got GPS working, this is really relaxing. Hi, bud! I'm sad, I haven't been over, over on No Man's Land all day today because I've been having FSN chores and helping some people. Uh... I haven't even harvested my grass yet. See, it's yellow over there, ready to go. Uh, but yeah. I wanted to check in this morning, but I kind of hit the ground running over here. <laughs> and no, these are not my grapes, thank goodness. I told the guy, because he told me what he needed help with was, was planting wheat down here and then harvesting grapes, and I told him I would do the wheat, but I didn't tell him I would do the grapes because I didn't know what my timeline was going to look like. Uh, but I had some extra time, so I said, well, I'll just help him out because I know he's working today. Working and traveling. And reverse and forward. Okay. I watch the bottom. Uh, like I said, sometimes the grapes don't disappear like they're supposed to right off the bat and it takes them a little while to fade out. Uh, so I watch the bottom to see if the row I jump into actually starts calculating grapes or not. Because if it doesn't, that means that that's, that's the row that was sideways. <laughs> Get my jacket on and my hat. Cowboy boots, my jeans, normal t-shirt. The only difference is I wear a black t-shirt and I don't have a fleece collar. See, look at all these grapes on this side. We didn't skip a row, right? Like 99% sure we didn't skip a row. We'll have to check when we come back. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I was like, uh, I've run across people before that I usually like pursue to watch type stuff. And then realized I didn't subscribe. I'm like, how did that happen? 
No sunglasses? Uh, no, the sunglasses are too big for my face. The only time I ever, like, religiously wore sunglasses when we were overseas and you had to have, uh, eye protection on. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that you can change your, uh, avatar at any given time, which is, I think it's, um, it's control C? Control P. Nope. Alt P. Yep. Alt P. Easy peasy. Lurk. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the lurks. I might try to do a little bit more field work up here. I'm not sure yet. Depends on what my timeline looks like. I wasn't expecting to be able to help with grapes today, like this. I, uh... I got Billy's grapes done this morning. Those are easy enough, because it's, like, not quite a huge field like this. All right. Erk. And line up. There we go. Do 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 do. Alt L to see the line. And the line is dead on the sticks. Perfect. All right. Alt L to turn it off again. Got the first crop of oats for you. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pay for that over there. Um, you asked me not to touch the sogrim, though. I, if I remember correctly from yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I don't know. I'm not sure what day it was. <laughs> but you're using sogum from for your chickens, which is an awesome idea. And then hope, fingers crossed, Monday we'll be able to set up, uh, set up some more fields and stuff. Pretty excited about that. Are you gonna bid on uh, forty-eight and forty, fifty-eight? 4858 something something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi Jamie, good to see ya. We're not doing anything too thrilling and exciting today. We're just uh helping a buddy out with some grapes. Mm -hmm. I know for sure I don't want to do grapes. <laughs> Helping somebody with grapes, a okay. I'm I'm cool with that. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think grape the grape life's for me. <laughs> Too much pursuit provision. Grape capital, right? He did a good job. He lined up stuff really well, and then got the GPS to line up really good on this machine. So it's not very taxing on me. But like I said, I don't like the uh, the fact that you have to double plow each side of this row, like make a pass on the east side close to the sticks and then make a pass on the west side close to the sticks. It's a little, a little too much for me. Or maybe just work in a 
2.8 meter plow so we can just go down the middle. If they did that, I would probably do grapes. But not, not now. Not right meow. Nice. I appreciate it. It's like, uh, between the farm shop prices, I try to price it where you're still getting, like, as top dollar as I could pay for it. Because usually if I, like here, uh, on FSN, I was just selling stuff for average price. Thank you for lurking. Yeah. Gigi's work, uh, lurking. He's got, um, got caveman today. We all finish up the uh, the grapes today, and then I have to do my my grass over on mine, and then should be good. This this is leased out to this fellow up here, which is great. Um, so I leased it out for approximately the same amount of days it'll take for me to sell it to him because we can only sell one per in-game year and then uh, then we have to have owned it for 36 months or 36 days real life days wait does rain affect grape harvest I don't know if it does well it's rain time 1600 all right, we got we got enough time. I think we'll have enough time. I wonder if grape does, or rain does affect grape harvest. <laughs> but it's like, and I'm good. We have enough land to work now. <laughs> I may bid on it if nobody else does. And then if somebody else wants it, they can buy it for 5k above what I paid for it. That way, that way I, I can easily switch out land if somebody needs it. J-Rock and I only have one overlapping piece of land, and that was 44 for what his ideal setup is and my ideal setup is. Uh, but he said he didn't want to pay that much for 44. And I don't blame him at all. I'm, I'm happy. I'll pay 150k for it and be done with it. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was in my plan since day one, so... Because I remember single play in No Man's Land, which was really fun, by the way. Uh, that I only needed um, four pieces of land to do everything I needed to do, and then some. But I didn't have help for the most part in there. Just like when I was streaming, I had some help. And four, nine, thirteen, seventeen. Yep. Okay, so it's this one. Bud, if I mean I'm not you, of course, but if I were you, I would probably bid down the road straight down to the um, to the store to grab that land right there because it's nice and flat and like really great for uh, for fields and stuff like that.
Oh, 110k on fart? Oh, jeez, and crackers. Yeah, um... So, the spout thingy? Uh, it's 300k per thousand liters of fertilizer. So you're gonna want to, um... Buy the big bags of fertilizer and then take a, tr a truck up there with a, the back where you fill it up. And just stand beside the big bags and just fill it up that way. And then when you get back to your house, you can dump that in the Omotana silo. But it's 1800 instead of 3000 if you don't use the spout and you use the big bags. And it's 2000 if you use the big pallets. But yeah, 110k of fert. Wowza. Left you 26k. <laughs> well, I'll get your money as soon as I get down, buddy. I promise. I actually took out a loan yesterday. I spent all of our money and took out a loan to get everything organized the way I wanted to yesterday. But I don't know how much money we have right now. But my first priority is going to get that loan paid off. But I, I should have plenty extra over to be able to buy all the the crops from you to keep the uh, the mill going. Yeah, the disconnect and this stuff. Uh, I, I think I was plowing. I don't even remember where I was. But uh, they had me on contractor status. And they were on contractor status with the rest of the map. And I think I plowed like a, a good four or five hundred meters <laughs> by accident. Because, uh, you know, uh, make, make farmland plow. It was crazy. Oh, jeez. So, oh, jeez, geez, bud. I'm still using the baby trailers because the 82k trailer was just too big. Like for FSN, I think the 82k, 82k trailer would be really nice because they, they won't ever put in those baby trailers that hold the 72k. I like the little ones because they're just easier and compact. But I didn't realize how much it actually held until uh, until I realized that they were talking metric tons, not uh, liters. I was like, why would I want a five-ton trailer? <laughs> we already have a five-ton trailer. But it wasn't. We had silliness. Silliness. All right, what are we looking at? What are we looking like? All right, a little under half now. Whew. <sighs> kind of laugh sometimes because when you're uh, doing contracts and stuff and getting paid by the hour versus paid by the job, it makes me laugh a little bit because I was like, I would do it faster, but literally I'm restricted to five miles per hour on this machine. <laughs> Uh, it makes me laugh sometimes. Alright, let's turn this grass off. There we go. Alright, so he already plowed that. Okay. Yeah, I need to get my grass taken care of. Tricky to get all three to dump in your cell point without... <laughs> Well, you shouldn't have that problem anymore. It's not... I got rid of the uh, sawmill and, and moved the selling point over a little bit. Uh, it's nice and wide and open. <laughs> Ever since we got those tiny trailers, the Omatana stuff's been, like, trying to inventory for other buildings around it so I don't know what's going on because it wasn't like that before and I don't know it's not a bad thing but I had to watch it
This thing reminds me of a grasshopper, and I don't really know why. And there. Alright, I'm going to step away for just a minute. I'll be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> Hi, Brian. I know, right? I'm just, uh, just helping out a buddy over here. Thankfully, this is not my stuff. I already took care of, uh, Billy's stuff this morning. You don't have near this many, which, thank goodness. There we go. You already got the uh, wheat cultivated, plowed, planted, and rolled down here, so the wheat's really good for him. And then, uh, yeah, just got to get some grapes done here. And then I have to go over and mow my own fields. <laughs> mow and bale for silage. Got to make some monies. You have sunflowers tomorrow, uh, Brian? Like I said, he did a really good job on the GPS for this field, so it makes my job a lot easier messing with this. So don't be mistaken with the ease that we're doing this. Because <laughs> uh, these little poles, if you're off just by a little bit, it'll snag, and then you have to reverse and pull forward and all kinds of craziness. 100 acres of sunflowers tomorrow. Alright, I'm excited. I'll be up around 7 or 8 a.m. ready to go. Uh, yep, I definitely absolutely should not be drinking caffeinated coffee right now. But it's so good, and I need it. This is an impressive amount of grapes. Super zooming grapes too. Um, and with the zigzag heels, I don't, I don't know how he's doing that so easy. It so sounds weird when I say it easy, but uh, 
even on a little bit of a hill, some of them just weren't working. Eh. And Bud, were you good with the prices I posted over on uh, Deuce's Discord uh, for what we're buying grain at? I did check the uh, year forecast thingy um, and base my prices based on that. God, I can't even imagine a hundred grapes of a uh, hundred grapes of acres. A <laughs> hundred acres of grapes. That would be insane. Good old Elm Creek. Lots of stuff to do. So right now we have four people on this map. And these maps can hold seven, the eighth slot going to the bank, basically. It's kind of like our no man's land. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, if that happened, it happens. It's not. It's not a huge deal. But yeah, I wanted to kind of work in some some contract stuff for for everybody and get us a better deal than buying wholesale and you guys a good deal for getting more top top end money for stuff. A win win. Tons of stuff. I kind of want to. I want to check on our cows today and play with them. But I've had to do this stuff. <laughs> Haven't been harvested. Whoo! You're like whoo. <laughs> the reason I can't find them is they're still in the field. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. trying to think food wise I think I'm gonna have some chili this afternoon is it still a little cold outside not horribly but still a little cold and I think chili would be really good it's definitely a lazy day today Hmm. 
I'm just like, I'm laughing. I was like, I've almost topped off my social for today. <laughs> it's nice not to have to use the weekend to kind of like recover from your social time that you've had to kind of been forced on for the week. Like when you're working a, a full-time job and you're in the office and or out in the field or whatever and you have to talk to people all day and the weekend is like the time you get to unwind and say I get peace and quiet for once uh, yeah it's nice not to have to have to be in that position at the moment <laughs> or if I want to be social I can just stream and talk to you guys and get my fill and then uh, then yeah craziness I still can't believe we're halfway to a thousand for for YouTube already it's craziness <laughs> gotta work on its acreage conversion farms like 60 acres but an FS is like 20 <laughs> right It's like what I did with this up here. I uh, took eight and nine, and then I built a field here, and then I built a field here right on this side because I wanted more grass. I brought in an extra 60k a year just from doing that. So I guarantee you it's not the same acreage that it thinks it is. Hmm. I do think that they have a... Uh, more field info I think it's called and it actually does calculate the actual fields and acreage and size and stuff like that it is a mod <laughs> alright I know this is almost as exciting as pottage but I think an hour and we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and I uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Try to stay out of trouble. If you can't, don't get caught. <laughs> uh, yeah, I may or may not be in and out this weekend for streaming stuff. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Just kind of like a random. YouTube's always a random. Twitch is the only one I have a schedule for. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon.